Keeping your sales channels updated is important when you're running your online business. If you're a dropshipper or use a third-party logistics company, you want to make sure the process runs as smoothly as possible. Here's how you can automate the process of sending new order details to your supplier and receive tracking details so EcomDash can update your sales channels. Make sure the warehouse feed and custom inventory add-ons are enabled to begin the process. Let's start with the warehouse feed. The word warehouse can mean a lot of things depending on the way your business is set up. For our purposes here, a warehouse is your third-party logistics company, dropship supplier, or fulfillment center. Your first step is to set up your warehouse in the system. Open the menu to Manage Warehouse and click the Create Warehouse button and select Integrated. Name your warehouse and uncheck Add to all products. Once you've done that, you can add any pertinent details like the address, contact info, or notes about this supplier. From there, you can set up the automation for the order export feed and the tracking import feed. Let's start with order export. Click order export from the tabs at the top. Click automation settings. This is where you choose the source of your orders. Automating this process allows EcomDash to send a file about each new order to your fulfillment center, be it a dropship supplier, third-party logistics company, or warehouse. Choose the specific integration type your supplier requires. From there, you can set up information specific to your needs. For example, file name, file delimiter settings, what interval to send the file, and more. You have the option to test the integration to make sure the credentials work the way you need them to. After you add your integration settings, click Save. Then you can move on to the next step, which is format creation. Click the Add Attributes button to see all the data points that you can choose to include in the file. Different fulfillment suppliers require the information to be organized in a certain way, and you're able to customize that here. Once that is set up, you can follow the same automation and file format steps to set up the tracking import feed. The tracking import feed is where we go to receive the file that shows the order was shipped. Once we receive the file, we can update your sales channel with the order status and include the tracking information. With both the order export and tracking import feeds enabled, you'll be able to easily send the order details to your supplier and receive tracking details. Let's move on to the inventory feed. Before EcomDash can associate any new sales orders with your supplier, you need to import your supplier's catalog and attach it to the warehouse you just created. Open the menu to Manage Formats and click the Add New button. To set up an item in your inventory, Create a recognizable name and choose Import. From here, you'll be able to add pertinent information about the item, like its specific sales channel, the associated warehouse or supplier that you created earlier, how you want to identify the product, and more. Note, if your supplier's file comes with a header at the top, like labels for the column, checking the file includes header box means our system will disregard that first row. Make sure you know what your supplier requires to ensure the data is captured correctly. Then you can add the attributes from your supplier's file for them. This is similar process to both the tracking and order attribute process. You should find all the data points within this area. Pay special attention to this as it needs to match with your supplier in order to work seamlessly. If you want this file to be continually updated by your supplier, click the Automation button to set up specific intervals to update the product information. Similar to the warehouse feeds, you can add your settings and test the integration. If you only need this to be a one-time upload, 
navigate to the product screen and choose Import Inventory from the drop-down in the upper right. Choose the file, pick the matching format you just created, select the appropriate SKU settings, and upload. When these products are added to your account and associated with your supplier, your orders can be automatically exported to your supplier. With these automations in place, you'll be able to easily manage your online business.